Hello, hello, Sharon here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing two different ways of adding checkboxes into a Word document, depending on whether you want it to be completed on screen or printed out and filled in with a pen. So let's crack on. The first way I'm gonna show you is checkboxes for actual printed documents. So a quick way of adding checkboxes to a document that you know will be printed off is to add bullet points in the shape of a box. To do this, position the cursor where you want the first bullet point to be. So in this example, I want the first bullet point to be next to option A. Make sure you're in the home tab on the ribbon and click on the drop down arrow next to the bullets in the paragraph section. So click on the drop down arrow and then click define new bullet. The box symbol that we want is in the symbols section, so click on symbol. So there's two fonts that contain square boxes as one of its symbols. One of those is Webdings and the other one is called Wingdings. So in this example, I'm going to choose Webdings. Click on Webdings, scroll to the top. And at the bottom of this first section here, you can see there's a box here. So I'm going to choose that one and then click OK. So you can see this is the preview of what it would be like and click OK. And then all you need to do is press return at the end to insert the next bullet point, which is the next square. Uh, again, just carry on so we can put in another option. And then it's just a matter of continuing formatting the document as you like before printing it out. One good thing is that this new styled bullet point that you've created is now available to use in any new Word documents. So if we just do Control N to open up a brand new blank Word document, make sure you're in the Home tab on the ribbon and click down on the drop down arrow next to the bullets. And you can see in your bullet library that the new defined bullet will now be listed in here. So it makes it really quick and easy to find for future use. Before I show you the second way of inserting a checkbox, please hit the like button if you're finding it helpful so far. I really appreciate it. Thanks a million. And on with the second way. Let's say you want a checkbox that is clickable on the screen instead of it being printed out. So to do that, these are inserted into your Word document through the developer tab on the ribbon. Now you can see I don't actually have the developer tab on my ribbon. So if you're the same and it's not there, you need to add it to your ribbon first. So to do that, click on File in the top left corner, then go to Options at the bottom, click on Customize Ribbon over on the left-hand side, and then select where it says Customize Ribbon on the right here. Make sure this is Main Tabs, and then scroll down the list until you get to Developer, and just make sure it's checked next to it, and click OK. And now you can see the developer tab is on the ribbon here. So if you click into the developer tab, in this control section here is where you'll find the checkbox. If you hover over each of these icons, then a tooltip will appear telling you what they actually do. So you can see there's a there's it's quite clearly marked as a checkbox with a tick in it, and that's what we need. So position your cursor where you want your first checkbox to go. So I'm just going to press the space bar next to option A, and I want the first checkbox to go here. So these checkboxes don't work the same as bullet points, so they don't automatically appear on each line when you press return. You have to manually click on the icon wherever you want the checkbox to be placed. So I want it to be placed here, so I click on the checkbox and it appears. And I do the same thing again. Space, click on the checkbox and it appears. And option C, space, click on the checkbox and it appears. So if I just zoom in, a little bit so you can see a bit more. If you click on the box, that's how you check it and click again to uncheck. And if you want to change the way the checkbox looks once it's ticked, all you need to do, click on the checkbox first and in the developer tab on the ribbon, go to properties. And then in the bottom section, checkbox properties, the checked symbol, you can change that if you want to, to have a different symbol. So if we wanted a, a tick, for example, click OK and you can see it's changed here and then you can have a, an unchecked symbol as well. We'll leave that as it is and click OK. So now when you tick that box, you'll have a tick instead of the cross. These other two boxes here will still be the standard cross mark. So if you actually want to delete them, highlight and delete and then we can copy Control C, Control V, Control V 
and this will keep the same symbol. If you want to actually change the color or the size of these checkboxes, then all you need to do is highlight, go to your home tab on the ribbon and you can change the color if you want to. It is a little bit fiddly. So now when you check it and then to uncheck, just click on the box. There you have two real quick ways of inserting checkboxes. I hope you found this helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.